favorite and we are now at a bakery. It is called Sea Sweet and uh, look at all of the sweets that they got here. That they do got so this is some lemony sweets and we also got some chocolate right over here. And we've got all of this, we've got some mini cakes, we've got some big cakes right there. And then we've got some big ones right here. So some of these have fruit, um, gold, lots of big cakes. This one actually has gold right there. And uh, obviously we do have a lot of cakes right here. And it looks like there are some macarons here. And here's also some more Lebanese sweets. And this is a bakery, so they do have breakfast. They actually got croissants, which are right here, and this place is famous for croissants. And there are tons of it. So they got all of this ice cream, they got biscuits, cookies and cream, a bunch of them right here. We won't be getting any of this, we'll be getting some croissants. And this ice cream looks pretty good. So this place is called Sea Sweets and let's see how these chocolate croissants taste. I'm not sure if I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 Det er 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 det فاهم شركة تايرول كمان بده يقدم لهم ضريبة هذيك هذيك المرة بيعملوا هذا الشيء على الدواء بيدفع عليهم مين كان منشور؟ واحد ما بتروح واحد بيعتذر بس ما بتروح واحد ما بيقول لك كل شيء in the Beirut airport and soon in exactly two hours we'll be going to Abu Dhabi and don't forget we will be doing a lot of stuff in the Beirut airport and in Abu Dhabi so be tuned for all of the upcoming stuff so in so after we go to Abu Dhabi we'll be going back home to Melbourne so be tuned for that and see you when we do something thing in the Beirut airport look at this so this one bottle of I think wine a whiskey is 12,000 US dollars and that is not what there is multiple of them so even this one down here is 4,000 US so don't forget to smash grab and like button and this is probably one of the most expensive areas in this airport and we are like in the whiskey wine area right now and soon we'll be going to multiple different shops and places and look at this one so this is another expensive one it is four, nearly 4,000 US for this one bottle. No idea why it's that much, but it is. And we also got all of this. And we got a lot of stuff that we can do here. So let's just look around and see what we can do. So this is like a cigar room. And we just saw this little statue. It is someone literally holding a cigar. And this entire room that you do see is a cigar room and let's check it out. So we've got all of these different kinds of cigars, either holders or just straight cigars. And I don't I don't think there is a price on any of them. So that is pretty cool. And a bit whatever's in here is very expensive. So we've got all of this too. So these are boxes and if you don't know what a cigar is, it is like a cigarette but obviously bigger and different. And these are boxes and no idea what this is. So I think there are cigars in this. And who knows, some of these could be worth hundreds or this or they could be worth very cheap. 
these, some of these are very expensive, but well, some of them do have prices, so that one doesn't, but this one I think does. Yeah, it does. So this one is $33 US. And I did see another one over here. I think it was maybe this one. No, not this. But there was one that was like, I think, over $200 US. So it's not that one. Maybe it's this one. Alright, so this one. This one is over $288 US. So if we, just for a few cigars that is very expensive and don't forget um they are all different kinds and we're just going to be looking around we're not going to be buying a lot of stuff we're just looking around and wasting time because we are leaving in two hours very expensive one so this one is one thousand five hundred and fifty dollars us so it says right there 20 i think it's 25 cigars no idea how much there is but these are, they have a lot of them and each one is over 1,500 US so they are very expensive and I even got a lot of them on this side so let's check this side and see how much they are so this one is $82 US for just a few cigars that is way too much section of the cigar area and this is a VIP lounge for cigars. So if you do have a cigar, you can come in here if you're a VIP. And all of these, I have no idea how much they are. And I do not want to find out. So they are probably very expensive. And they look pretty cool. So if you don't know what um, these are. So you do put your cigars in here when you have used them. And you can get as much as you want. And judging by the size of these ones, these ones are massive. They can, they probably over a thousand dollars US or even more. So looks like we are going to be leaving the cigar area soon. So see you when we do. Restaurants up here, but it looks like we cannot find any restaurant here. And there's a sign that says sushi. If there is, we are definitely getting that. Closed, and apparently that restaurant did have sushi. But it was closed and it does open later tonight and we will not be here later tonight because we will be going to Abu Dhabi so we probably will be eating there. Abu Dhabi run here so we're now getting onto the plane and I do believe this is the same golden jet as when we came here so hopefully it is and hopefully the inside is even better. So we are now going to Abu Dhabi at well right now. Firstly we do need a um fly for I do believe five hours I think and then we'll stay at Abu Dhabi for two hours not five this time and then another 14 hour flight to Australia so yes this is the golden chair and uh, look at this so it's the same thing as the lot well when we first came we got a pillow and a blanket so let's just sit down and we actually got a window seat and as you can tell, this one, well, there is a straight up helicopter right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is massive. So I think this is the same plane as we've got. Well, not exactly, but it is roughly the same. And it looks pretty cool. There's actually a lot of leg room. And, it's, um, it's, well, let's see this helicopter. And that helicopter is absolutely massive. So it is a bit blurry because that's how far it is. And it looks like people could, well, it, you could possibly rent it and you could go flying up into the air. And it looks like we will, we will be taking off very, very soon. And then in Abu Dhabi. So don't forget to smash subscribe and end like button. And I guess see you when we... Um, soon we'll be taking us into the sky which is probably thousands of meters up into the sky and then it will be going straight to Abu Dhabi so right now I actually got sort of like two windows got like maybe one and a half like this one and then this one and then this one and then this one so I'll tell you when we're actually flying up in the air so see you then taking off and then we'll be like well, thousands of kilometers in the sky and then we'll be going straight to Abu Dhabi so be tuned for that and I'll let you know when we take off 
Abu Dhabi, we are now in the center bit yet again. And we were here in the past. This is actually the exact same spot where we were when we first came. And this place is pretty cool. So we'll be doing a lot more stuff than we did last time. Last time we stayed for five hours, but now we are staying for one hour. So who knows, we could be trying a lot of stuff, doing stuff, or buying stuff. So hopefully we can do a lot more than last time. Because last time we were just mucking around and seeing what we could do. But now we are going to be doing a lot because we know what to expect and we know what is here. So be tuned for all the stuff that we do um, see and do. And be tuned for everything. See you then. Fast food place and this place is Macca's. So apparently in other um, well, countries, um, fast food places and restaurants are way different than well, Melbourne. So let's go check out the menu and see what we can get. Macca's menu and it does look like there are some different stuff so let's check on to burgers so there are some different stuff stuff that actually are spicy stuff which in Melbourne we do not have a lot of spicy stuff in Macca's and we do got a well actually a lot of different stuff we've got chicken tenders we've got wraps and there's obviously a lot of different stuff so some signature stuff so we even got some of these a mushroom beef burger and chicken mushroom, these are definitely different. And in what's new, a quarter panda of deluxe cheese and Happy Meals. A Happy Meal is a Happy Meal, I guess they're all the same. Fruits and salads, uh, a banana and a pineapple. We've got some sides. So we've got chicken tenders, nuggets are still here. We've got chicken wings and we've got a bunch of different sauce. So the um, veggie menu, so we've got all of this, no idea what these are, what a veggie deluxe is, and some dessert. So it looks like all of this is the exact same as Melbourne, well the desserts, and it looks like with every single shot that you get is a donut, some drinks, iced tea you can get, and uh, that is it for the drinks, some more drinks. So I guess most of the stuff is still the same and they do have some stuff added. So obviously in Melbourne they do not have donuts, but in Abu Dhabi they do. Exploring Abu Dhabi yet again and we already explored it the first time but we're going to be doing some more stuff now. And there's a lot of jewellery in this airport, aftershave, perfume, all that sort of stuff. And there is a lot more stuff here than Melbourne. So let's just go walk around and see what stuff there is to do. So obviously in the 30 minutes we will be going to Melbourne. We'll be going on the 14 hour flight straight to Melbourne. And then that will be the end of this adventure. So there is a lot of stuff here. So let's just go walk around and see what there is to do. So um, this airport is absolutely massive compared to Melbourne. Melbourne Airport is only a fraction of this one and let's go see what there is to do and what there is to buy. Straight to the gates to, so we can get back home to Melbourne and the flights will be leaving it very soon because like I do believe like 20 minutes ago we had 30 minutes left so we got probably 10 minutes or less to get to a plane and to get seated. Tronics shop. So this stuff has obviously a lot of stuff that is from Australia. So we've got a Nintendo right there. We've got some Xbox stuff. So this place is pretty much an electronics heaven pretty much. And we've got a straight up um, a drum set. Doesn't really work. And we've got a keyboard which doesn't work too. So this place I'm guessing is really cheap. All right. So a watch that you can call someone off is $109 US. Right, that is very cheap. A lot of stuff here is very cheap compared to Australia. So let's go check some uh, actual watches, Samsung watches. So 250 US. I know these things can go up to $1,000 US, so these are very cheap. And this entire shop is pro probably way cheaper than Australia so whatever this is it apparently makes you go to sleep for $19 US so if you want to go to sleep easier go to Abu Dhabi and get that 
And we, so this shop is pretty cool. You got a lot of stuff that you can do. And we've got some Apple phones, which is 900 US. And we've got some, uh, um, some of this. We've got some headphones. We've got some, some of all of this. That is very cheap. And back to the iPhones. Let me go check. I think there was an iPhone 15 for not even a thousand. So an iPhone 15 for 844 dollars US. So that is probably one of the cheapest iPhones I've ever seen. And we even got a VR right up here. And let's go to another shop. Tw well, C28. And our plane is just outside there, and then we can go back to Melbourne. In the plane, going to Melbourne, and it is pretty big this plane, so we're now going all the way towards the back. And let's see what they have in the seats. So, judging by the other seats, so they got a TV, got um, a pillow, blanket, and I think headphones maybe. So it looks like it is the exact same thing from what we got last time. And this plane is absolutely massive. So there is a lot of stuff that we got for free. And it is pretty much the exact same thing from what we got last time. So this is our row right here. And I'm going to go in. So we just got into our seat and it is a pretty crazy trip so far. So we've been to two countries, Abu Dhabi and Lebanon, and I highly recommend going overseas because it is very fun. And we went overseas for 28 days, which is one month and well, pretty much four weeks. So don't forget to smash subscribe and like button down below. We'll be going back home to Melbourne, and I guess we'll be taking off pretty soon. So see you then. See you in Melbourne. We are now in Melbourne Airport. We are finally back home, and that is the end of this adventure. So we went to two countries, Abu Dhabi and Lebanon, in just one month. So don't forget to smash subscribe and end like one down below. And yes, I will be uploading um, some gaming videos very soon, so be tuned for that. And we are now in front of the main Lebanon, uh, Melbourne airport sign. So look at this. The Melbourne sign. And we are now going to be going home and uploading some more videos very soon. Video is coming up, so this is the end of this trip. So, I guess, see you in the next one. Goodbye.